These are some of the paintings that are going to be on sale this weekend as part of a benefit to help an organization called Hearth. They're dedicated to end elder homelessness and these paintings were created by a man who was homeless, a former school teacher named Peter Phelps. Peter, you're, you're 81 years old now. Right. Uh, how long have you been living here? How long? One year. And how long were you homeless? Uh, approximately about a year and three quarters. Approximately that. Came to Boston to die because I have lung cancer. I became homeless because after the people in Springfield gave up on me, I came to Boston to die. Basically because I said I'll get into a clinical study and whatever they find me, be able to help someone else. It was payback time. And as a result, once I got into the clinical study, uh, the great shock of life was, is the doctor said to me one day, he said, you're going to live. As a man who's 81 years old, who yes. spent a year homeless at the age of 80, and now here you've got a place to work, a place to live, and it's not a shelter. What does that mean to you? It means to me for the first time in almost two years that I have a creative kind of juices that come back and I'm able to, you know, find a place in, in society, really, and that's the most important thing because I've always been the kind of person who gives back, but this is very important. When one gets to the end of one's life, uh, you know, you'd like to get even and this is one of the ways to get even. You're not living to die, you're living to live. Absolutely. Peter calls this a self-portrait. Maybe a year ago it was a picture of hopelessness, but now it's the face of hope. From Peter Phelps' apartment in Eggleston Square, Carl Stevens, WBC News Radio, 1030.